Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to another video. Slightly different one today because I, I have to go to the doctor first because I'm numb from like head to toe on one side of my body. I'm gonna go and I'll explain in a minute. I can't believe it's two videos in a row that I'm not driving the car. Pamela never drives the car. You, I, I, I promise, it's always me that drives. All right, so apparently I have low blood pressure. We're buying face wipes for a cat. Cat accessories. I mean, I understand. It's a weird way to phrase it. What accessories can we get for a cat? This. Oh my Bought it like a bed thing, but it's cozy and a scratch post. I was like, with the legs of the table of our posts, and currently she is scratching them. But no, we're gonna spend money on something for her to scratch. How's it going? And welcome back. Sorry, this has been a little bit disjointed the last couple of days. I kind of got knocked back, and that's what the, let me let me just backtrack and explain what happened. So two days ago, I was working on a video project with the tourist board here in Northern Ireland, and um, working out around Fermanagh, Lake Lands, and checking out some of the things here to promote the area. It was a really really fun day. We went up Colca Mountain Boardwalk, went into Marble Arch Caves, we did some kayaking on the lock. We checked out the bubble domes, we a bunch of other things. It was a hell of a long day. Like I got up at 4 a.m., picked up my friend Sourcegate, who's like a drone cinematographer here in Northern Ireland. Um, we traveled up about an hour and 40 minutes from where we are. So we drove up there, met the guys, and we started on the hike up Kolka, which, which is a good enough hike anyway on its own. Me being me, I just kind of went through things the way I normally do. But at the end of that day, we finished filming. We finished filming up and wrapping up at around nine o'clock at night. So like from 4 a.m., through to nine, then David and I got a bite to eat and drove back. So I, didn't, I wasn't home until like half 11 at night. So it, it was somewhere around like an 18 hour work day, which was pretty friggin' nuts. But th the problem was that it was a very strenuous day. Going back years ago, I, I rode bikes, BMX bikes to be specific, for quite a long time. Um, and I rode them every single day, I all the time. Everything was about BMX for me. It got to a point in my life where things happened and I stopped riding and then I just worked a lot more at a desk. I think after putting myself and my back through all the strain for all that time and then just bang stopping it, it's my back just got worse and worse. Um, and I visited a few physiotherapists who, who took me through the stuff and said I have like a partially prolapsed disc in my back and I just need to make sure I do the right stretches to maintain it and pull it back into place. Then I remember the guy saying to me, look, I could pop it back into place for you right now and it'll be right as rain temporarily, but it's just gonna come back out again. You'd be better to learn some stretches to fix it and maintain it. So for the most part, that's what I do. A little bit of bike riding, a little bit of surfing, and then loads of stretching and some yoga moves and things like that just to try and maintain my back. But I wasn't really paying attention the other day when I did the shoot, and it was such a long shoot. And then I was thinking like, I had my low pro camera bag with all of my gears and two cameras and a monopod and light setups. And I was, I was climbing up mountains and jumping down, squatting down. It was just a hell of a lot of movement, but a lot of weight being carried around. And there was a lot of sitting in the car back and forth. Anyway, all that sort of stuff happened. I felt fine on a day apart from just being a little bit tired. That day was so long, I didn't get a chance to edit the vlog from the day before and put it on time. So that vlog was pushed to the next day. The plan was I'll get up the next day and I'll finish editing it because I was mostly done. And then I'll put it out that morning and then I'll film the next one for, well, for yesterday. However, I got up in the morning and I was like, something doesn't feel right. I'm walking around then my legs started going numb. And it, anyway, and then my legs started feeling like really like, numb and heavy and dead. You've been sitting down for too long and you get up and your legs are dead. And then you're like, you go for a walk and your legs are like, Ugh. and then slowly the blood starts going back to them. You're like, oh my God. And then there's this like sickening feeling as your legs like, it's almost like the blood's going back into your legs. It makes you go, Ugh. and then anyway, it was that feeling in one leg. And I was like, what is happening? And then it started getting a bit worse. And I was like, oh, my arm feels all tingly. And then have you ever taken a t-shirt out of a tumble dryer and put it on? and you get that static feeling. And you imagine that right up here, right? So I had this like weird numb leg thing, and this numb tingling sensation here, and it just got worse and worse, and it went right up the side of my face. So it was like starting here, right down to my toes, and all over, I mean, everything was numb, and I could like barely feel it, and everything was tingling. I was like, what the hell is going on? So I lay down on the floor for a bit, and did some stretches, and I felt good, stood back up again. 10 seconds later, it was all the same. When I first got up, I said to my wife, I was like, 
I'm having a stroke. What is going on? What is happening? What is actually happening? Phoned the GP and I was like, can I just book in for an appointment this morning to get checked out? I went with Pamela, dropped the kids off to see if I could walk it off. I'm one of those people that just believes like, drink some water and walk it off. So I, I did and I just didn't really, didn't get much better. So we went down to the GP and he did a whole bunch of checks. Um, and he was like tapping on my elbows. So I try to get that nerve thing, tapping on my hand, tapping on my knees, nothing. And he was like, you're dead inside. You're actually not the first person to tell me that because my, uh, my physio said the same thing when he was trying to, he was like, where are your nerves, dude? They're not there. Anyway, a few checks later, I have quite low blood pressure, apparently. Normally my blood pressure is quite high, so it was the first time I've had low blood pressure. Um, and then he did a few checks to make sure it wasn't a neurological thing. He did some vision checks, a whole bunch of stuff. And it basically said to me, I think you just overdid it. You just really overdid it this time, dude. Because then I told him how long the day was. And he was like, yeah, yeah, fine, right enough. So I, I've been complaining about neck things. He says, I think you've just hurt your neck and, and twinged your back and sort of trapped the nerve or something in that. So he's like, look, go home, take a bit of rest, chill out and just relax for a couple of days and see how you feel. And if you still feel anything like this, I mean, he says, but like, just chill, dude, take it easy. And I was like, yeah, do you know what? I just put my body through a hell of a lot. Like I don't let it rest a hell of a lot. I move continually and I'm always, I'm always going. I don't know, I see time in a different way and I'm always like trying to fill all that time with stuff. And I'm like, I wanna do all this anyway. I think sometimes I just overwork myself and I just need to chill out. So that's where I'm at today. I'm like a day behind now on the video thing. So I'm trying to work out. I'm gonna try and catch that up and put something together and work from there. But I just wanna let you know in case you're having an issue like that or you've ever felt that kind of weird sensation. If you have, let me know in the uh, comment section below. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. But uh, thanks very much for watching and I will uh, catch you in the next one. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Laters. But uh, thanks very much for watching and I will uh, catch you in the next one. Good night, good afternoon. Good morning.